In terms of the conference, super exciting today that the conference came to Kampala. Uh, this has been forthcoming. This has been for the last 10 years, our dream. Um, uh, very pleased, uh, COVID killed it in 2020 when we should have had it. But then now we are very excited that it came and turnout has been super good. We've been able to outbeat the numbers we had expected. Enthusiasm, the gender, the women, the youth, all interested in private equity is exciting. Despite having a budget day today, we have still been able to have a very successful conference. Unlike two decades ago, when we had nobody doing private equity in the region, it was very difficult. Uh, a private equity transaction had to be structured in London and not in East Africa. Today, we have even law firms, we have advisory firms, we have um, uh, partners like USAID, Open Capital, consultants, who are all supporting in the process of structuring and uh, supporting SMEs to grow and be ready for private equity and venture capital investments. Uganda is an interesting place to work and uh, I've just been having conversations with my friends from my friendly neighbors really and we're just comparing different fundamentals of, of each other countries and I constantly have to remind them that inflation in Uganda is actually much lower, um, currency risk is actually much lower and more importantly profit repatriation is, is, is more transparent and so we're constantly working very hard um, to promote our country as a, as a credible investment destination. Value creation is going to be a very, very big deal um, as businesses keep on saying, yeah, you have money, so what? What else does your money come with? And that's a challenge we constantly get thrown and we're constantly demonstrating how our capital is, is more, um, is, is, uh, uh, comes with additional value. If there's no return, the impact is not sustainable and that's not impact enough. But then the other thing is that uh, most of most of the fund, my fund managers or GPs like XSML get money from um, DFIs who come in as as limited partners or LPs, if you want to call, call them that. But um, this money is recycled. And if there's no return, that money can't be recycled. But one thing that is really, really important is the environment part. And this is one part that we all forget. We seem to forget. We seem to think that uh, the DFIs are asking for too much. The most important thing is our planet, and this is what we need to protect, because without the planet, if we deplete, if we destroy the planet, we can't have businesses, we can't operate, and that, that will be it for us. Thank uh, Yavka for a very well-organized uh, event, and uh, the conversations are very timely. I think it's the first conference I've attended by you. You're covering like the entire end-to-end -end, uh, deal cycle from the challenges uh, in deal uh, origination, um, having a conversation even with the entrepreneurs uh, in the room and all the way up to exit uh, strategies, the challenges, the different uh, routes that uh, players, especially in the peace, peace can take in terms of an exit and even having actually uh, public uh, market participants like uh, regional stock exchanges taking part and uh, just sharing their thoughts on uh, uh, the public market route as an uh, exit uh, uh, mechanism. When it comes to developing uh, our markets, what more often than not you hear that there is no uh, there's no deal pipeline. At the end of the day, somebody has to develop that uh, deal pipeline and, uh, and local pension schemes because they have the local capital. They have a long term view. Last year, a spotlight in Kenya showed that Kenya is needing in terms of PE and uh, VC investment, followed by Uganda. And I'd like to say note closely very big gap. Uh, we're looking to close the gap because there's a lot of growth going on in Uganda. Our, our economy is relatively stable within the region. Um, so we're looking to see a shoot up in this scene and PE capital into the country because then that translates into economic growth, job creation, um, a lot of development all over the country and a lot of benefit for the country. So that panel discussion was very interesting. The tax component of it really, really, really helpful. The panelists were very well informed. The people from mostly with funds in Nairobi, where we, ex of course, we have seen more exits than Uganda. So to pick their brains and get that, that knowledge and um, really see how we can apply it and improve uh, the landscape. Because the better the exit, the better the investment. Um, that surely has been my uh, biggest takeaway.